Welcome back to Nightline. I'm Pastor Benny. Told you we'd be right here. We've been enjoying this evening. And uh, this Baptist is just feeling the pull of the Methodist tonight. And I'm having the time of my life. I've, I've talking to two people who will be my dear friends in the years to come. Pastor David, uh, talking with Pastor David uh, and Tom Chambers uh, from the United Methodist Church there on Augusta Road. And is it in Greenville or is it Moonville? Which was well, Greenville County. Okay, but Moonville. We're, we're in the suburbs of Moonville. Okay, ab absolutely. <laughs> we'll be giving you that address a little bit later on. And by the way, as we've said from the very beginning, you've got the telephone number right down here, 864-244-1616. That number is for you to call us with your prayer request, if you would. Prayer concerns, we would love to receive them from you. We will pray for you. Also, as I've always said, we're always enlarging, enlarging our base for prayer partners. And if you or your class or elders, deacons would be interested in being prayer partners once a month for an hour and a half, that's all that is, call us here at the station. That's the number you're going to use right there. And uh, Mary or Kathy will help you fill out an application, mail it back in, send it back in, and uh, we'll begin processing that and getting back in touch with you. But we always are needing those of you who would be glad to serve as prayer partners. You know, a lot of people who start and come here as prayer partners have said, you know, I know I've needed to lead somebody to the Lord Jesus, but I just never have. But when I came as a prayer partner and talked on the telephone, I led my first individual to know Jesus Christ. I prayed that sinner's prayer. Yeah, that could happen to you. It, it really could. And so I just, I want to encourage you. I, I, I do. And also, as always, continue to keep the station in your prayers. We thank you for your financial support, but we thank you for your prayer support. Oh, my, how we appreciate that and how we love you for it. And continue just to to ask the Lord to strengthen our programming. You, you notice as we continue adding programs, I hope and pray that they are really meaningful to you. They are to me. Well, hey, right now, the Catching Z's Band, love that. Jesus put a smile in my heart. Come on, folks, lead it. Put a smile deep down in my heart. Jesus put a smile. 
smile deep down in my heart. So deep down inside, no one can take it away. He made me a promise he'd always stay. He said he would never part. Jesus put a smile deep down in my heart. Jesus put a smile deep down in my heart. Jesus put a smile deep down in my heart. Jesus put a smile deep down in my heart. I listen, I mean, you can't help but listen to that and put a smile on your face and put it on your heart because, you know, uh, I, I was telling them it reminds us of what a difference Jesus Christ has made in my life. And, you know, if you told me, uh, Tom, would you have ever thought, were you called early in life to be uh, in Christian music, church music? Uh, how did that happen for you? Well, I, I knew I was called early. I actually... Um first chose of my own volition to, to give my life to Jesus when I was like nine years old okay. um, at a revival at church. And a couple of years later, the Billy Graham crusade came to Greenville. And we went there because my oldest brother, Ed, wanted to go see Bill Glass, who was a right. professional football player. Right. So mom and Ed and I went to the crusade and Billy Graham offered, you know, gave the invitation. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, Mom, I think I should go up there. And she was like, well, go ahead and go. We'll, we'll right, wait right here. And I asked my brother, Ed, who's a little on the bashful side. I said, Ed, well, you, you want to walk up there with me? And Ed was like, no, I'll wait here with Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was just out in a sea of people. Yeah. And um, so I knew God had called me. Um, to something, but mm. I, I really didn't know. I mean, I started playing by ear when I was very young, and um, we had an old piano we got from uh, our neighbors down at the end of the road. John Painter actually sold my dad the, pia the piano for $2. Oh I think, my. He, think he just oh. wanted it out of his house. <laughs> Don't say, and, yes. uh, so I would peck around on the piano, and my mom and dad thought, well, maybe we ought to get him some lessons or something. And I'm one of those guys that sort of learn how to play in spite of piano lessons. So, <laughs> yes. Um, but yes. uh, yeah, I, uh, I just didn't know where this would all lead. And I had an old band director back when I was first teaching music who said, you ought to start doing some of your music for Jesus. Said right. the contemporary music is a an exploding uh, genre of music and um, I really didn't think much about it at the time but um, that's sort of sort of where I am now I write songs contemporary songs and try to blend in some old hymns right. and stuff it's with those great. and uh, just you know I never know when a song idea is going to come to mind I just try to be faithful and write it down and sometimes I don't write it down immediately and the song's gone two or three days later and I'm kind of right. like should have written it down right, while it was right, there. Right. So, but um, just trying to follow where he leads. I would think that the people at the Augusta Road United Methodist Church love uh, the music that you would. Do you? Has he ever come in, Pastor? Day, has he ever come in and said, I, "The Lord gave me a song last night. I wrote a song. I want you to hear it." Has he ever done that yet? Uh, you know, um, I I don't know. Uh, Tom hadn't told me, but the fact uh, I was thinking about. Back in December, there is a song, and I'm embarrassed. I don't know the name of the song, <laughs> but it is a Christmas song that uh -huh. Tom and Catching Z's wrote. What is the name of it? It is such a good song. Yeah, we have, I think it's probably yeah. That's What Christmas is All oh, About. Oh, wow. That yeah. song is amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. when you listen to that, and I mean, Tom was a member of the Royal Scotsman Band. And, yeah, back and, in and, college. And playing, so yeah. I, I have pro musicians around me right you now. Do. You're a drummer, and you're a, <laughs> a musician. A, and But honestly, uh, the first week in, I thought, this is going to be a really fun appointment because yeah. the praise band's up there singing. Everybody's 
giving God the glory, giving yeah. God the praise. And like I say, it's not just Tom, um, uh, Cheryl, Scott, and here I go again naming people, Jenna, um, uh, Ed, uh, Rusty Patterson in the past has played guitar. And uh -huh. We have people who are so committed, and I know that's your department, Tom, but it, it spills over on all of us because we're really blessed as a church. I think anybody who, if, if you walk in there and you walk out and you didn't feel the spirit, yes. either you're, you're really literally deaf or your heart was so hard and you weren't going to hear it anyhow. But I think that's... I just tell people you know, their wood's wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, come you on. Know, yeah, uh, and, yeah. And I mean, I'm just l listening to the music and I'm thinking every Sunday, what a blessing it is. It is. Yeah. You know, as, as pastors, you know, that music sets the tone. Well, and, and you know... It prepares us. Sorry to interrupt, but I was at a church that was very traditional and they have great music. Mm -hmm. But it was really neat to walk into a new kind of service that it was contemporary and traditional. Mm -hmm. So our service has the blend that you're talking about earlier, Pastor yeah. Benny, that you know we don't want to see these traditional hymns like go away. No. So at the end of every service, and during the service, sometimes there'll be an offertory that is, uh, well, we don't do offertories now because the pandemic's behind us, right. but we'll do anthems that are, are traditional. But yeah, I think um, it's it's such a blessing. And um, yeah, it's it, I need to find a better word than fun, but it is fun. <laughs> but it is. It, 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 it is fun. Yeah, it's, it's neat when you're in church That's and you just I go, say. wow, this is fun. But it's also focused on God and, and, and the contemporary music, too, for people who aren't really into listening to contemporary. It's definitely, um, it's not 7-Eleven. It is, right. you know, seven words 11 times. It, right. it, it, there is some depth there. Yes, there is. Um, and, and it's, to me, it's also, um, having been in other churches where, we do encourage, and Tom, you're in charge of the music here, but I mean, I've been at other churches where the pastor would actually put up the hand at Silver Hill, George Ashford, if he wanted to keep on singing the gospel music, that might go another five minutes. Don't right. kill it, right? That's I mean, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right, right, right. It's kind of like I had someone come up to me saying, oh, this new fangle singing like deer's panting at the water. Uh, I, I, I just, I just, I want the old hymns. I want, I want scripture. Yeah. I said, well, if you turn to Psalms as the deer panteth for water, yes. you will find but it yeah. in the book of yeah. Psalms. But not, yeah. you know, not trying to put anybody on the spot. And, and it really shouldn't be apples. It is apples and oranges, right? right? It is, it, but we shouldn't, sorry. but it's fruit. It is, yeah. yeah. So, Bingo, uh, and that's what we've got to celebrate. I mean, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to rejoice. Absolutely. And season, time, and season, time, and purpose for everything. But music is a um, great place to rejoice. Absolutely. And, um, so, and y'all yeah. do it really well. So that's the great oh. thing is that, and I think that speaks to souls. It's a, it's that thing. You don't have to speak uh, English, Spanish. I mean, you know, it's like you could be any culture. And the music's going to speak to you. You're going to hear it and feel it. Listen, I'm a Baptist, but if I if I weren't, I'd be a Methodist. Okay, oh, I just want you be, to know that. You'd be a Metho Baptist. <laughs> I <laughs> guess I would, <laughs> and I would be down there at the Augusta Road United Methodist Church. And maybe you're you live in that part of our our county in Greenville County, and you're looking for a Bible believing, Bible singing, fun, depth filled, Holy Spirit run church. Why not give Augusta Road United Methodist Church, why not 8324 Augusta Road in Pelzer is the snail mail address, uh, or give them a call 864-243-2829. Uh, or you can go on Facebook to Augusta Road UMC, or you can go to uh, AugustaRoadUMC.org. And I'm here to say, why not check them out? Why not? Uh, they preach Jesus. They praise His name. And uh, who knows? You, you Maybe you're in the wandering stage. Well, why not check them out? You may find out this is what I need. You know, and, and and I Pastor, agree. I would say this. For anybody who's watching in any community Please. you're living in, you may really wonder now, I've never really been in a church. And that may seem silly for mm -hmm. some of us who spent a lot of time in church. But <laughs> honest <laughs> to goodness, most churches do have the doors open they want to see you on yes. Sunday morning. Yes. And if you know where the old Woodmont High School is, if you're in South Greenville, mm -hmm. you just go a mile towards Greenwood on US 25 and we're right there on the right across from Valley Brook Church, which is Pastor Curtis Johnson's church mm -hmm. and it's the Lord's churches, obviously. Right. But again, it's just taking that step into church and realizing that 
everybody's in there for needs too. We all need to be there to worship the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I know the toughest thing sometimes is not even that you've gotten out of the habit of being in church. Mm -hmm. There are more and more people, we know this pastor, that who they've never been to church. Right. So the most basic thing you need to know is, and I'm, I'm not gonna get my mic taken off here, but just get up off the sofa and go to a local church on Sunday morning. Right. I can sit on the sofa and eat potato chips and watch mm -hmm. TV. That's an assignment I can take on. But if I actually get up and go to the local church, why, well, you know what? The pastor That's may right. very well pursue you in a message that calls you to That's consider right. coming up to the altar, making your commitment to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But also mm -hmm. a lot of times you'll just listen to scripture or you're gonna hear great music that is gonna feed your soul. So yeah, that, so hopefully we'll see you at Augusta Road or if you live have a church right there in your back right and, your and, neighborhood. and you know I mean uh, uh, there as the pastor was saying that there's so many who we know are unchurched even in the Bible Belt today yeah. as we have more and more influx from people from the north and from the west uh, who maybe uh, weren't uh, didn't have the regimen of going to church on Sundays um, but they're finding the lifestyle down here is is at least some folks are geared to go into the Lord's house on Sunday. And, and getting back to welcoming people, uh, you know, I've told a couple corny jokes. I should have left those back in the, <laughs> the parking lot. I, but I, 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 I if you're Baptist and I told a corny Methodist joke, my apology. <laughs> but I will say this, uh, the Methodist faith is, is very, and, and I think a lot of Baptist faith and the Pentecostal, I mean, there's a lot of understanding that the Holy Spirit is bringing people to church. So you're going to church is not simply just your will, but you've got to realize that's God's will Amen. also. Amen. Yeah. And you know, I, I, the thing is that uh, when you have different denominations as we have here at WGGS, you understand that the umbrella is the Holy Spirit. Yes. And uh, w we share that. And so it's from our heart to yours. Again, the Catching Z's band are going to show that to you as they sing, He's Strong and mighty. Come on, folks, lead us. He's strong and mighty, my shield and my defender. When I stop fighting and I finally surrender, sin. Hallelujah. I've been born again. You may have a lot. You're doing quite well. The last thing on your mind is a place called hell. Life's been a success, but what been born again. You may be poor, struggle to make ends meet. You may not have anything, you're living out on the street. Life's been real tough, hasn't been much fun. So what's your plan for eternity when life Through. He's 
Thank you, uh, Tom. Y'all been a blessing. And, and I want to show you uh, their latest uh, two uh, CDs. Autumn, I know you've got me on. You're going to get close up on for me real close. I want you to see this. And you can get uh, these from uh, Apple Music, uh, Spotify. Uh, you can, uh, would, they, would any of them be placed on your uh, YouTube channel or your website, for example? Uh, we're on Facebook, and okay. they can contact me through there or okay. Django.com. They're pretty much any music outlet has them. Okay. I encourage you to stop by and pick that up because uh, Tom wrote these songs and uh, you know, have you ever uh, seriously uh, listened maybe to uh, the pastor's sermon and uh, maybe something in the sermon, some words in the sermon can mm -hmm. translate into music in a song. Has yeah. that ever happened for you? Uh, often. Uh, and, uh, that's the, that's the um, I guess the wonderful thing for any musicians listening is right. you never know from whence the Spirit right. will come to inspire right. you to plant a seed uh, or an idea for a song. Right. Uh, and sometimes the seed is planted and it may be days or weeks or months. Um, the song, the last song Karen did, Jesus Put a Smile in My Heart, right. that was... Uh, inspired from Philippians. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll give you the peace that passes all Almost. understanding. And my interpretation of that was he'll give me a smile down here that nothing, whatever's going on around me, however crazy the world may get, right. that peace, that smile is in my heart and nothing can take it away. I wrote that song probably 15 years ago my, my. and almost had tossed it in the garbage can thinking, well, I'm, you know, but I, but I didn't. And uh, it is on the um, Man of His Word CD. And um, mm -hmm. I was kind of flipping through some old notes looking for something to put on that CD. And um, we pulled that song out. And um, it's actually one of my the fact that my granddaughter singing on it sort of enhances sure, well, that love. Absolutely. <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs we do. And uh, that's what Christmas is all about. Is this the that's song the you would? David that's good. Line. I yeah. can't wait to get home and listen to that. Yeah. And uh, and put, you know, we've been blessed tonight talking uh, to the uh, Augusta Road United Methodist Church uh, pastor and uh, pastors. Uh, pastor uh, David Smith has been with us, and uh, pastor. Or they call you pastor. Tom they they call me all sorts. I of know. Things I've been used there. to that too. <laughs> uh, we've been talking to them tonight. And uh, many, again, many of you have called in your, your prayer concerns, and uh, we're going to the, we're going to pray for you right now collectively. And I'm going to ask uh, the pastor, Pastor David Smith, if you would please offer uh, this closing prayer. Would you please, sure, sir? Sure, yeah, thank and you. Yeah. Please, if you would. Yeah, Lord, we are thankful this evening that as these individuals have reached out to to be heard and knowing that you. Your heart hears the heart of God, hears the every pain and suffering that your, these individuals are going through. Maybe yes. it's not even that. It could just be a, a confidence that, God, you're going to get me through this, this week. You're going to help me deal with a circumstance at work that I just can't tolerate anymore. I know that, God, 
you are bigger than anything that I'm having to deal with and I'm so thankful that you are with me and and just as the shepherd's psalm speaks to all and to everyone we your yes. sheep know that we need to be praying for one another we need to have our our spiritual hearts open and we need not not only listen to God's word but uh, the holy spirit needs to allow us to be the arms and feet of the gospel of Jesus Christ there may be a circumstance where we may need to be helping somebody on this prayer list mm -hmm. we know god that you take that which which is happening in our world in intangible ways you you manifest your presence jesus yes. christ is incarnate in this world world and we're thankful for his presence and so lord we pray for your mercy and your goodness we're thankful for for pastor benny and for everybody in this ministry of outreach because day in, day out, there are folks who really need to realize Christ's presence here and now. And, and if this is that channel, praise the Lord. And so, Lord, we, we are thankful again just to have the opportunity for the Catching Z's to pray, play their music tonight. And so we're thankful for music ministries across the upstate. Amen. And that choir directors and pianists and musicians know that they are so valuable. And just as David played the harp and as we sing from our souls to you on Sunday morning, Lord. We sing your praises and we simply ask for a healing. We pray yes, for a child do. who may, or a teenager or a young adult who may be dealing with a substance abuse issue. Lord, help us to realize the power of the Holy Spirit to, to change lives forever and to put people on the right path and in, in times of recovery for those who are economically just going through so much. Just continue to get your church involved with outreaches of food pantries and uh, prayers for local leaders and pastors. And, and Lord, we're thankful for this day. This is the day you've made. There's so much goodness about us. Help us be safe in, in the words we say and how we drive and the, the people that we meet, that we be ambassadors of Jesus Christ, that we do unto others as you would do to them. And we're so thankful for the great example of Christ's love to us that we could love one another so <clears throat> sacrificially for it's in Jesus name we pray amen. amen thank you for being part of nightline I'm pastor Benny I'll see you on Sunday have a great day in the Lord Jesus bye-bye till next time